Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another routine episode, special edition, and I'm joined by Brittany. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Oh yeah, she ready. What are we ready for, Brittany? The slow rhythm. Now this dance is fantastic, right? It is perfect as an introduction to dancing. If you've never danced before, you've got your two left feet just, you know, bang. It's just literally you have two left feet. You wear two left shoes, two left socks. When you walk around, it's like in a circle to the left. You've got no idea what your feet are doing. This is the dance. Now it's also a great dance socially because you can use it uh, for mo counter song that can go to four, so uh, four beats and four bars. You can basically do this at any tempo. So it's great for weddings, social events. You wanna showcase to your friends, I can dance, this is the one, man, right? Now, the trick with the slow rhythm is to keep your steps nice and calm. The bigger you go, the harder it will be to keep control and to keep balance. So I mean this when I say it, most men, are the ones that come in dancing like giant gorillas, right? Or even less, more than gorillas, freaking giant giraffes, right? Their legs are so far apart. So 50% less dancing. I don't even need to see you dancing. I'm just gonna tell you now, if you're new to dancing, 50% less at a minimum and you'll dance better. I, I just know this about your dancing straight off the bat. Now, if you love this video, make sure you dance on all over to the subscribe button, hit the like on this video, leave a comment please and share it with your dance friends and maybe someone you wanna give this a shot with, okay? So going into the slow rhythm, you're gonna focus on the left foot is the big tip I can give you. So if I'm starting with Brittany, there are three figures we're focusing on. Our basic, which goes forward and back, our promenade walks and our side taps. Now with each one of those, I'm gonna start with my left foot and Brittany's gonna start with her right foot. So because of that, the heel should be off the floor, locked and loaded, ready to roll, okay? If you've got that foot up, you now know what foot you're gonna use. Huge advantage in dancing to know what foot you're about to use. So then it's about the pattern, right? So if you've done the waltz video from the special edition, remember, it's about the foot change. So when you do your basic movements, okay, so if we just come back a little bit. So if I do my basic movements, walk, walk, side, close, change feet. What foot do you have? It should be the left, ladies right. And if I do the backward half, walk, walk, side, close, change feet. The lady should have the right foot, the heels just off the floor and my left. That, my friends, is the super secret to dancing. If you can understand the weight change and bar none, the thousands of students I've had through the studio over the years, the success comes not because those are talented, it's the perseverance of that, right? Like it might take you a year to get that. I had a student for two years who did not move out of like the raw beginner class. But in two years, he finally understood weight changes, okay? When he understood how to change those feet properly, this dude was like unstoppable and then he left the country. So that was awesome, right? And so he got it and then he flew somewhere else in the world. but hopefully he's taken that change step with him. He understands how feet work in ballroom dancing, okay? But the best thing about that is across the board, your waltz, your quick step, your tango, anything that involves your now left and right foot that's been established, not two left feet, anything that involves your feet and weight changing, you're gonna be a master at, okay? So use this dance wisely, it has a huge amount of power, and then take it out into the world with confidence and enjoy dancing it at weddings, at social events, uh, and of course, if you end up doing uh, uh, studio lessons, use it in your metal routines uh, and maybe some low-grade competitions. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into the demonstrations. Thank you very much. Welcome to the slow rhythm. Let's jump in to the figures and steps. Now the good thing about this dance, gentlemen, you're gonna use your left foot. Ladies, you're gonna use your right foot to commence your steps. Okay, so the first one, 
we're going to commence with two basics which go like this. We walk forward, we walk forward, we side and close. And then we go back, we walk back and side, close. That's one basic forward and back. Now we repeat that. We walk, we walk, side and close, and then back, back, side, together. Now, the next step is called the promenade walks. We turn our bodies into a small V, opening up, walking down the room, walk, walk, side together and again, walk, walk, side together. To finish this combination, we'll do side taps. So we go one tap, two tap, three tap, four tap. All right, and now we'll do it coming back to you. So this time for the ladies. Ladies, you're gonna commence with the right foot, starting going backwards, gentlemen, left foot forward. So we go, ladies, back, back, side, close, and now come forward. Forward, forward, side, together. And now again, back, back, side, and close. And again, forward, forward, side, together. And now, walking down the room into promenade, walk, walk, side, and close. And again, walk, walk, side and close. And now into our taps. One tap, two tap, three tap, four tap. So the timing for the slow rhythm is awesome because it's the exact same for the man and lady. So that is a good news. So here we go. We'll start it off. Gentlemen, what foot are you beginning with? Left foot, ladies, with the right foot. Here we go. And slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, if we try that again, we'll come back towards you. Now, there is a timing change on the tap, so just be aware that we're using quick counts, but it's easier to count to eight instead of quick, 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 quick. Okay, so ready? Here we go together. And slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick. A one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming in for the slow rhythm. How did that go for you? Was it fun? Did you enjoy it? The pattern's not too difficult, is it? Here is a extra tip for you uh, because you're watching the video so deep into it. I'm gonna bury little nuggets occasionally, all right? You have, to, you have to watch to find the nuggets, okay? So with the timing, because we talk a lot about footwork and how to change feet, Let's talk a little bit about rhythm very quickly. Okay, so with slow foxtrot music, which is mainly what we're dancing to, or, and slow rhythm is an extension, it's a very simplified version of a foxtrot. They're not really the same when you look at them on YouTube, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Fundamentally, the timing though is the same idea. So when we look at slow, slow, quick, quick, try counting out with me, ready? Slow, slow, quick, quick. A slow is two beats of music and a quick is one. So what that means is when you've got these uh, basic movements, right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, in terms of uh, the amount of beats we use per step. That's why there is a difference on the side steps to the walks. So the walks are slow, slow, and the side steps are quick, quick, which changes the rhythm. And it's wonderful to have rhythm when you dance so you don't look like a robot. Okay, so when we go into the side taps, what changes? What do you think? The timing. That's right. The timing changes. And so what we do is we go from doing slow, slow, quick, quick into continuous quicks, right? So we count eight of them. And as I mentioned before, we only go, it's better to count to eight than try to guess how many quicks. I don't know about you, but personally, when I had routines, I had lots of quicks and I was trying to count slows and quicks. I was like, quick, 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 how many quicks have I done, right? Let's just count to eight. But notice the rhythm is different, okay? Because we're tapping, which is different to a close, we use the same foot twice. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Collect my weight, chill out. And now I'm ready with my left foot, lady's right foot, to start the routine again. In case you're wondering how it can repeat, that's how you do it. 
Uh, but the rhythm's different, so it's very important. We shrink the size of our step to less than shoulder width, and then we brush our foot to collect a little bit, to create some nice movement, right? Keep it cool. You do not want to look like this. All right, it feels weird and it looks strange. Don't do that. You did not learn that here, if that's how you're dancing. <laughs> but if you shrink the size of your steps, life is good, man. Like it's way easier, way more rhythmical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here's a little test. When you finish that, lift your left foot up. Ladies, lift your right foot up. Life is good. You have the correct weight. Now because of that, you are free to move back into the beginning of the routine with the basics. Okay, so that is how these lessons come together where you learn about foot positioning or how to close and change your feet. And you learn a bit about timing. You learn a little bit about posture. And each time you challenge yourself on a new dance, boom, your level increases. Okay, to people like, wow, you must be gifted. You are a natural born dancer. And you got, you got no idea, right? <laughs> like so much training, so much yelling has gone into those legs. So with that in mind, please keep an eye out for another episode called The Quick Rhythm. You're going to like that because it's going to use this as a basis to bridge into the quick step, which is a super popular and one of the oldest ballroom dancers going around. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Brittany. Make sure you subscribe, share the video, like and comment on this video as well. And I look forward to bringing you into the next lesson where we master the art of ballroom and Latin dancing together. Thank you.